What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Yarrell, aka T Spilling. Welcome to Spilling All with T. Have some reality for you guys. This is Love and Hip Hop New York Season 5, Episode 17, Part 2 of the Reunion. So happy this shit is over. Cannot tell you. But I am ready for the ratchet shit. That is uh, Love and Hip Hop ATL. So, since this is Spilling All with T, you guys know I'm going to have some tea for you. Like I said, Still, you know, trying to finish off the wine and whatnot. I have Passover. You know, I'm, I'm almost done with it. But the tea is coming back, y'all. It's coming back. Go ahead and hit my vape now. <clears throat> so, if you guys have seen my... Yeah, it was my most... <laughs> A little bit after. <laughs> if you guys have seen my uh, <clears throat> R&B Divas uh, recap, the most recent one, or was it a rant? What, what the hell the fuck I called it? What I did is I gave you like the synopsis in the very beginning, and then I talked about it. So I'm going to do that here because some shit was said, and I really do feel that I'm going to have some talking points. And if y'all just want the quick run now, I'm going to get it to y'all so y'all going about y'all murder way. Okay. <clears throat> so we start off with the whole uh, <clears throat> Rich and Diamond uh, situation, you know. So they played it. They played the shit back. It really wasn't much that they played. So no more than what we already knew itself. It was just some, you know, turn around this and third, whatever. <clears throat> and then you have her mama Lisa. Like, I mean, I was so fucking through with her because here she is sitting on the couch and pretty much is saying right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm going to support my daughter, which I have no problem with that. But she rather call Cisco out on his shit than call her daughter out on her shit. I feel like that is completely fucked up. And, I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> like I said, I was somewhat here for Lisa early on when they first showed. I'm not really here for her right now. I think she is doing the absolute most. <clears throat> so, let's see what else we got. Yeah. <clears throat> so, then they bring up the diamond and Johnny you know, incident, and, you know, shit go left, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, because, uh, Diamond said she didn't know Johnny, she thought she was, uh, you know, a, what the fuck she called her ass, an extra, you know, she made a comment about her daughter, I'll get to that later, and, you know, Lisa jump up, like, she gonna do some shit, Johnny jump up, she sits the fuck back down, but then she gets to talking shit, so, yeah, I don't even want to see the ass next time, I really don't. What I really didn't like is I did not like how Diamond was trying to, you know, play the vulnerable victim. Like, miss me with that shit. Like, go on somewhere. For real, for real. You know, because you go from doing all this all season and on the last reunion to just sitting here and want everybody to be sorry for you. Not sorry. Not at all. Then we get to the love triangle. You know... If y'all watched the fucking flashback, was enough. That is pretty much what happened. Really no need to rehash. Because I told y'all for what it's worth, I was done with the triangle. I'm going to talk about it after this. But all I'm going to say is this. <clears throat> Pete, I'm not Peter. Amina says that, you know, she's done with Peter. She still loves him, this and her, but she's done with him. Peter acknowledges that they are done. And he loves both women, but he's with neither. And I'm so happy that both of them, especially Amina, finally got it together. I'm so fucking happy about that. And we found out that Erica Mena is leaving Love Hip Hop New York. All I'm going to say is this. I hope that her uh, marriage works out. Because if not, as quickly as she said she ain't coming back, she might end back up on this damn platform. Or maybe Mona will give her own damn show. I don't fucking know. Um, then you got Yanni Medici, Remy Kimbella, Tyra, and Peter. But more or less the first four. <clears throat> All I'm going to say is this, and I'm going to say it again when I do my full review. Turn up for no motherfucking reason. Wasn't here for it. The shit seemed so fucking staged. You got Remy getting up, doing all this. Then they cut back to it one point, and she's smiling. And then she go back, like, no, nah, no. Nah. So, yeah, fuck Yanny, fuck all y'all. And at the very end, we found out that, uh, you know, Yanny and DC, they are getting married. And there's some more to come on there. So, you guys, just in general, <clears throat> that was uh, the recap where it comes to subscribe share all that good jazz for those of y'all that just wanted to come and get that so now let me formally get into this fucking you know 
review, recap, rundown, rant, whatever we're going to call it, because I don't know. Won't know till I'm done with the video. <clears throat> so, picking back up, <clears throat> Diamond and Rich, uh, you know, one thing I will say is when they went to play the actual um, audio of the whole thing, <clears throat> I partially do feel that it was a tad bit disrespectful for them to even go that route with Lisa sitting on the couch initially, because again, that's her daughter. And it's like, and I was thinking, okay, she doesn't want to see her daughter in the fucked up life, but then I had to take a step back like, but she's fucking in, she go from fucking in a car to fucking in the bathroom. So yeah, whatever. And you know, Cisco, Responds that you know, because it was it was mentioned how you know he get like he was given no Cisco had mentioned <clears throat> someone commenting saying that you know paraphrasing here but he gave Rich the green light to you know fuck with Diamond but and damn I cannot believe my damn wine is all over there if I have to get up to grab a damn wine bottle to refill this cup y'all know what it is y'all know I really don't like to do much editing on this year. But he was saying that he said it in kind of a joking way, but no matter how he said it, you know, in essence, God code is God code. <clears throat> but last time I checked shit, it's a lot of it's a lot of dudes, you know, smashing. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, girls come in, yeah, they smashing the homie. <clears throat> it is what it is. And regardless of guy code or whatever, bro code, creep code, whatever you want to call it, say what you mean, mean what you say. Point blank period, y'all. <clears throat> so Lisa is asked if she feels some kind of way about how her daughter was treated. And she says, yes, mostly at Cisco. First problem, if you wasn't ready for a serious relationship, you shouldn't play games. Now she's vulnerable and your man stepped in. Karma's a bitch because you got it back. And she even says that, um, you know, da, 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 da. yeah, pretty much the same thing you put out there came back to you. But here's my whole thing with that. Now you're sitting here and you're defending your daughter. One, let your daughter defend herself. What she should have said is, it is what the fuck it is. Because <clears throat> I've said on many different videos, and this is for anybody, but it's most to the ladies. A man will only treat you the way you allow yourself to be treated, slash the way that you present and carry yourself. Doesn't make it right. The second part is kind of, mm, but it is what it is. So the way she portrayed herself and how she acted, in retrospect, that is exactly how she was treated. You know, like I said, they couldn't have been my daughter because I would have, I would have on stage, told the motherfucking truth. <clears throat> I ain't finna sit here. Jump out my body, get out of character, because one of those where you got your ass on TV, you made an ass out of yourself, you fucked up my damn name because I didn't help give birth to your ass. Hell no. But hey, it is what the fuck it is. <clears throat> so, the host, I forget her name, y'all. I think it was like Nina Parker or something like that. I just call her Miss Parker. Uh, she had asked, you know, Lisa if she felt how she felt about her uh, daughter's decision. And she says, I don't think she made the right decision. The fuck you mean you don't think she didn't make the right decision? Again, what I'm not liking is instead of her sitting here and holding her daughter accountable, she wants to deflect this shit on everybody else. Not here for it. She then goes to say that she should have never came to New York to pursue a career. I only seen her model on, on the motherfucking, you know, season finale. And that was with my Lisa. So what fucking career was she chasing? Anybody? Okay. And then she says, to be involved with the man, no, that is, that's why she came then now. And she's like, she's grown, and I'ma still support her wrong, right, and different. And because you feel that way, with what I've already said, you are an you are an enabler. You enable your daughter to do the dumb fuck shit. So she's going to continue to do it. And it's one of those where it's evident, and I'ma just call a fucking spade a spade. 
I can't, I don't know what Daryl did. <clears throat> I don't really know what you did. But from what I can see, whatever the fuck it is that y'all did or the lack thereof, this right here is the fucking product. So I hope for all the time you've been watching my Lisa, you've been sitting here and parting some better fucking wisdom than what the fuck you already gave down. Alright? So, Diamond is claiming, you know, vulnerability and shit. And they ask Rich if he sent mixed signals. And, you know, Rich just was being rich. He said, I'm Rich Dollars. Rich Dollar do. Well, Rich Dollar do. And under circumstances, I wanted to do Diamond. So, you know, let's be, you know, let's be about the truth. But he didn't fuck her. And, you know, Johnny got upset, you know, but, you know, she's going, I'm going to handle it, I'm going to handle it. And I'm just kind of like, all right, y'all boys, but y'all about to let a bitch come between y'all. <clears throat> okay, now, nah. all right. And, you know, Rich got a little upset and everything, and Cisco is trying to sit here and, and say he really has no place to be mad. So Johnny gets in the feelings that she retaliated, and she was like, you don't fuck, yo, and I'm going to just say preferably, uh, boys, ex, I'm sorry, knowingly. She didn't say knowingly, but it's one of those where, you know, sometimes you'll fucking get with somebody don't know that they didn't fuck with this person. you like, ooh. It's a small world after all, but knowingly. <clears throat> and it has nothing to do with her, but, you know, she said her piece, and she stood up saying, anybody want to fight? <laughs> and like clockwork, security rushed in. And she said, I got back up, and it was like she was testing the fucking water. I thought that shit was so comical. Maybe I was the only one. But I'm on my Sam Smith. I know I'm not the only one that found that shit to be funny. But Cisco said that um, he and uh, Rich, they not going to be on that fake shit, on that fake Benzino and Stevie shit. But long story short, they're going to hash shit out. They're going to be done with it. They're going to potty up this and the third. And <clears throat> for what it's worth, that's how men are, especially with our boys and whatnot. You know, we're going to be mad for a hot minute and all that other shit. <clears throat> you know, a little time go past, you know. Ward off a duck back. What to do pimping. And then we moving the fuck on. It is what it is. That's if we boys. You know what I'm saying? If we fam and shit. Gotta, gotta catch that. <clears throat> so, where the fuck am I? Yeah, so now we get to the, you know, Diamond and Johnny fight. Now, Diamond says she didn't know uh, <clears throat> Johnny. Now, again, it's funny how she go from trying to clown her on the last episode to just being like, you know, I, I, I didn't know her, but but I, I, I thought that she was an extra. Now, <clears throat> not to defend Johnny, even though y'all know I like Johnny. <clears throat> you already know how crazy she is. She done grabbed your head, talked to you like she was a teacher and you was a fucking student, trying to teach your ass some motherfucking etiquette. Say yes, ma'am. I guess those classes from Tyra might have been paying off. So you already know how she get. So she could have just said, I didn't know her, so I didn't know who she was in correlation to him. But you called her an extra. So that was a, that was a jab. Now, Johnny was like, you, you know, what's she saying? Your daughter is an extra. Now, was that shit funny? Yes. Was it uncalled for? Yes. Because outside of the, you know, go back to California, LA, whatever the fuck she said, to your dog, I understood why she went there. Again, I felt that was a little bit more palatable. But to sit here and say, your daughter is an extra, <clears throat> it's like, all right, we're going a little too far. Because at no point should we ever bring the children into this. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's between you and her, let it stay between you and her. Bringing the family into it on that mob shit, <clears throat> bringing the family into it, especially the kids, is not the way to go. So I really wasn't here for Johnny for that particular comment now. And <clears throat> Lisa, now here, here's shit that got me. <clears throat> that happened. And Lisa, whoa, whoa, and then she gets up out of her seat like she about to do something. <clears throat> Johnny was ready, so Johnny pops the fuck up. <clears throat> as soon as Johnny popped the fuck up, Lisa realized, you know what, this ain't what the fuck I want. So she sits down. Now, you got, like, one or two security guards just, like, 
kind of won over Diamond, won over, you know, Lisa. But Lisa's trying to do this, trying to bug it. Like, she's trying to get loose. Like, she's trying to do something. They got a lot. I, I should have counted the number, but at least by the good three, four, maybe five security guards on one person. And she, like, almost pushed one out the way trying to get to her. And then you got um, Lisa talking shit, talking about some let that bitch go. I wish they would have. I really do. Because it's like you can't sit here and run your mouth like that. But she's talking all this shit while they have her restrained and continues to talk shit when she is escorted off stage. Now, I did not write down what she said verbatim. But it was something along the lines of more or less, you know, her being about that life. And, you know, if you're going to talk about it, be about it, don't yap, yap, yap. Is that not what the fuck you were doing? Again, they need to get her old, the crap of that off this mother. Get her off the stage. Man, had this motherfucking shit over, so I didn't got to worry about it now. But, ah, I'm so dumb. So now we have the love triangle. Now, as I previously stated, <clears throat> they show the whole love triangle more or less begin to end in, uh, in the flashback or the synopsis, the wrap-up, whatever we want to call it. <clears throat> and, you know, Mina, and they asked Amina about her, how she felt about Peter, and she was like, I love him, want to be with him, hope he will change, but I'm moving on. <clears throat> now, what I will say to this is, she should have just said, our relationship has not existed. I've moved on. <clears throat> but the fact that you said that, you know, you love him, which there's nothing wrong with that. You would like to be with him <clears throat> and hope he changes. What you're doing, <clears throat> and I ain't got no damn props. Fuck. All right. <clears throat> but imagine this the dope. All right. This, this the dope. You just did that. So now he has an opening. Should not have done that. Should not have done that at all. <clears throat> now, Peter still love both of them, and Peter still feels that Amina snitched. But Tara pretty much has said, you can dish it, but you can't take it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so it's like, you can do certain shit to both of them, but when the shit is done back to you, you got a problem. He even said, yeah, I can take it. So they kind of court, like, they kind of <clears throat> took that and threw it at Amina, just like, well, you know, you was kind of there. So let's bring out Oren. <clears throat> and you know we find out Oren is engaged not to Amina and that he sent uh, Amina a text message saying something along the lines of I wish your baby was mine but he said <clears throat> you know he was joking apparently he was drunk when he sent it but how it came out is not exactly how he sent it whatever whatever <clears throat> and um, you know Oren pretty much says he has no feelings like that for Amina I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all. <clears throat> so they go to Erica, and you know she's leaving Love and Hip Hop. Good riddance. Bye. As uh, fucking Daniva says, I, I really can't do it how, you know, fucking Daniva does, but bye, I can't do it. But y'all know what the hell I'm saying, but bye. Girl, bye. Don't come back. <clears throat> and, you know, she's sitting here giving crocodile tears and, you know, want to sit here and thank Mona. You know, she probably should have went ahead and thanked the Academy and said how she wished that, you know, Shad would have came through a long, long time ago. And ya cha 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 and blah, 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 blah. And I don't give a fuck. That's why I'm doing with this. And that was pretty much it now. Now, Rich said, you know, that he pretty much made Erica dynamic. <clears throat> and if we really think about it, had it not been for Rich, she really would not have had much of a fucking storyline at all for as long as she did. Let's be honest about that. But let me know how y'all feel about that statement. Do y'all agree with what I just said? Do y'all agree with what Rich said? Let me know. <clears throat> so now we get up to Yandy, DC, Remy, and Kimbella. You know, like I said, I didn't want to talk about it because, you know... Miss Parker brought up that, you know, their pictures with her and Remy. So a lot of people think it's staged, but of course, you know, Yandy like is not. She's avoiding it in essence. And I mean, you got Remy, you know, someone popping off, 
shit's kind of escalating. Then Kim Bella's doing all this, and then she eventually jumps in, and then shit get a little heated. Now, mind you, got security posted up, and then she gets up, and you know, security like kind of grabs her and whatnot. And again, she's doing all this, and as I said before, they cut away. I think to Kim Bella and cut back, and then you saw a smile on her face. And then I think there was another cutback, and then it gets back to her, and now she's back. And I'm just like, it was put on. That's all this was. It was complete fucking put on. And again, y'all turned up on a camera for what? Honestly, don't care. And that's it. I didn't even bother to sit here and write out what was said, the you know, in the rashes, because I, I, I really just don't fucking care. Like, if y'all go back and watch the playlist and how I felt about, you know, the love triangle, how I got to a point where I pretty much just never really talked about a certain part and just skipped on, it's kind of how I'm feeling about this shit right champ. <clears throat> so they got everybody on stage. Again, not a whole lot was talked about. The only thing that I am going to mention, because it was already mentioned, but, you know, Yanni's like, I have an announcement. You know, me and Medici, we are getting married, and everyone is invited. And I'm saying things like, how the fuck is everybody invited? But then, you know, she was like, VH1 is filming it. And apparently, it's going to be live. <clears throat> can I let you guys in on a little secret? Let, let, me, get, let me get into the camera so I can tell y'all. I won't be watching. Because I don't fucking care. And guess what, y'all? Pretty much it. Pretty much it. Like I said, y'all know my favorite character. I love Mr. Johnny. I do. Want to see it win. And all that good shit. But, hey, y'all, that's it. <clears throat> the, uh, the season's finally over. Thank y'all. And, of course, ATL starts next week. So, y'all know. Y'all know I'm coming back. Y'all know I'm going to be ready. Y'all know I'm going to give it to y'all. I'm going to serve it up. But, with that being said, that's my review, you guys. With this video and all, please rate, comment, subscribe. To my subscribers, you know, thank you for the support. To my new subscribers, and like I said, I'm getting new subscribers every day. So, you know, I do want to say, you know, hey, welcome to the family. Real talk. For those of y'all who are just <clears throat> looking around, you like what you see, you want to join the family, it's simple. Click that subscribe button, and you're part of the family. Even if y'all don't, y'all in the family just don't know it. And since this is spilling all the tea, you guys know I spill the tea so y'all can catch it. Y'all always got to bring something to catch the tea that I won't be spilling. You know, got to gotta catch it in something. So, <clears throat> I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. I love all of you. Thank you for the support. <clears throat> and until I come back with the ATL. Franchise. Peace.